we are now going to get onto a really big topic, something that has come up a lot something that has come up a lot in the past few days. This is the next piece of news and probably the biggest piece of news that we've been talking about. Vince McMahon, from all sources that I've been able to talk to, has no intention to sell the WWE, barring an offer way beyond what the WWE is worth. There is such a thing as too much money to turn down. The changes that the WWE have made to the board, particularly the arrival of Nick Khan, are not being made with a view to sell. They are not being made with a view to making the WWE more profitable to the point that uh, they can sell to the highest bidder because the WWE are making plenty of money already. It would have to be a silly offer. Everything that I'm hearing out of WWE is that there is no intention to sell. Instead, Nick Khan has been brought in to make big changes to the company review to streamlining, saving money where they can in the lead in to going to live shows again because they are not entirely sure how much things are going to cost when it comes to that. They also, when they've only been paying their guaranteed downside to talent, they don't know how it goes through there. What is happening here is apparently more of a shift in the overall power held to the WWE rather than an incoming sale. Since Wilson and Barrios left the company, there has been no president of the WWE. There has been an acting president, but there has been no president, meaning that Vince McMahon himself was basically making all of the decisions across the board for everyone. That is no longer the case. Vince McMahon now is able to step aside and deal less with the day-to-day, -day, as he himself has confirmed he is intending to do. I've got more on this on my YouTube about Vince McMahon stepping back and less involved than he has been for a long time. Vince McMahon's overall involvement is apparently decreased, with Nick Khan stepping into that gap and making significant decisions independently. So it is Nick Khan who is making significant decisions based on releases, based on the financial reshaping. And it was just after he was made president on Tuesday night that I posted his reshuffle will, re, uh, will continue and then the releases were formally announced the next day. Vince McMahon, to my knowledge, does not have a structure in place for who would replace him when he retires. I don't believe he's ready to retire just yet. I, uh, I said for some time I believe he will die in that chair and he'll die happy in that chair. But Nick Khan is taking most of the business decisions away, allowing Vince McMahon to be more involved in big picture things, wide ranging things and others such as, for example, the nitty gritty of individual programming, even though he's been appearing less and less at SmackDown and somewhat less on Raw. He does still rip up the occasional script, The Little Scamp. Wiggly is just saying eight billion. It's a big offer. It's a big offer. Everything I've heard is that Vince has no intention to sell. Oliver says, who takes over the creative side if Vince goes? Uh, goes. It can't be Nick based on you saying he's not a wrestling guy. Nick Khan will have no oversight of the creative side of the WWE if Vince McMahon was not there. He would have no oversight of creative. They have a chief brand officer in Stephanie McMahon and they have people like Triple H and Bruce Pritchard who are more involved in the day-to-day -day oversight of the uh, actual product. Bruce Pritchard obviously is a big one. John Laurinaitis is a lot more involved in talent relations and often when someone pitches uh, a concept they will pitch it to John Laurinaitis who will then share it with Bruce Pritchard and the other creatives. Vince McMahon is not that involved so even if he were retired as it were he is unlikely to be uh, any less involved than he currently is. 